Hi YouTube, today we're going to have a look at the Universal Cardioid Microphone from MCO Plus. Okay, so as we can see from the packaging, this is a relatively small microphone uh, designed just to pop on top of your DSLR camera. Uh, this is a non-powered microphone. The actual model number for this is VM-D02 and there's not much more to say about it so let's just open up the box and see what we have inside okay so first of all we're uh, presented with a soft carry pouch and we'll come to that in just a moment so I'll just put that to one side uh, inside we have some instructions on how to use the microphone and set it up um, I don't think we'll need those because it's relatively self-explanatory. Uh, next we have a furry wind muff uh, for slightly windier conditions. And that's it for what's in the box. Uh, finally we do have a bag with some cables in so let's open this up and have a look. Okay so in this bag we are presented with two cables. Uh, they are both labelled. This first one says for camcorder or camera. So on each end this is a TRS or tip ring sleeve cable. And then the second cable, this one says for phone. Get it the right way up for you. And on the one end we have a tip ring sleeve and on the other end we have a tip ring ring sleeve and this is the end that's designed to go into your smartphone if you do have a three and a half mil socket if you don't uh, for example like on the iPhone you will need to get their lightning to headphone adapter to use that okay so I'll pop that to one side now let's just open up Okay, so we have some gel. Don't eat the gel, it's bad for you. And then we have the actual microphone itself. So it comes presented on the actual stand, which we'll come to in just a moment. Um, we also have a foam windshield on the microphone itself. So we'll just slide that off and just have a look at the microphone underneath. Um, it seems a very solid and sounds like a very solid plastic um, so it should encounter a few drops and not take any damage hopefully okay um, and this little piece of plastic I'm holding in my hand here um, this is so if you don't wish to clip the microphone in the center uh, I suppose this is just in case you have any particular lenses or, uh, that the microphone might get in the way of you can just pop that plastic sleeve there over the end it is a bit of a tough one and then you can just mount it like so so you can project the uh, microphone a little bit further forward if you wish to do so okay so just take that back off because i personally won't be using that Okay, and then lastly, we come to the stand itself. So the stand, um, it's a solid plastic, it's not a soft plastic, so um, it's not really going to work um, as a shock mount as such compared to other manufacturers. Uh, there is a little bit of flex in it though. Okay, uh, on the bottom we have the cold shoe adapter, so that can slide onto the top of your camera, and then you just turn the wheel to tighten that down. Another added bonus is there is a screw thread on the bottom so if you wish to attach this to another tripod uh, whether it be a small desktop tripod or even on the end of a boom pole you could do that if you wish and the other good thing about this is um, the shoe rotates um, in 45 degree sections so click 45 degrees
it doesn't help that I've got that screwed down. I'll try again. Okay, so there we go. And it just keeps turning and turning and clicks into place and stays there. So that's quite a good feature there. Um, so, for example, you could use it facing forwards um, to record your subject that's in front of the lens. And then if you wish to give a narration or a voiceover on something else you're filming, then it's quite easy just to flip it around like so. And then obviously you've got the microphone pointed at yourself. As the description on the box does state, this is a cardioid microphone. So what that means is anything um, that's to the side or around to the rear of the microphone um, is pretty well attenuated. The sound is only focused on what is in front of the microphone itself. Okay, and then lastly, on the back of the microphone, we do have the three and a half mil jack socket. So all we need to do is obviously pop that into there and then pop the other end into the device that you wish to record to. And like I said earlier, if you use this on a boom pole, obviously you could just get a, a very, very, very long version of this or just use a headphone extension if you wish to do so. Okay then, so that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much else to say, apart from let's plug it into the camera and give it a little whirl and see how it sounds. Okay, so I've got the microphone set at the same settings that I have my um, normal lavalier mic set at. I haven't adjusted that at all, and this is also a non-powered microphone. So hopefully this will give you a good idea on how the actual microphone sounds. Um, obviously I'm yet to hear it because I'm currently recording with it at the moment but hopefully it sounds good and does a good job uh, for the price point I think this is actually a very good product and um, I could highly recommend it to uh, people that need a microphone to do run and gun and obviously because of the price point um, it's definitely in the budget area and it's excellent for beginners such as uh, vloggers or people that just want to uh, randomly film things. Um, obviously it's not designed for professional professional use uh, for example making movies or films but then again if the sound quality is good and the um, situation arises then you could actually use this for professional use if you wish to do so. Okay so that folks is the I've got to look at the box for the model number the VM-DO2 Universal Cardoid Microphone from MCO Plus. I'd like to say a massive thank you for them to sending this out to me because um, they approach me. And uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know.